Now at 8.30, a group of retired NFL players is suing the league. The players say that they were not told about serious injuries suffered on the field and were instead given drugs to numb the pain. We begin our team coverage tonight with Grant Lotus. He's back now with details on the serious allegations. Grant. Yeah, Pam, the complaint was filed today in U.S. District Court in San Francisco. In it, former players claim the NFL was a money-hungry league that illegally gave players dangerous, addictive drugs so that the players could return to the field despite some serious injuries. The suit claiming the NFL did not have prescriptions for the drugs and did not warn players about the side effects. Eight players were named in the suit, including Bears Super Bowl winning quarterback Jim McMahon, who you see there. Players say broken bones were not diagnosed properly, and instead the players were shot up with painkillers and sent back out onto the field. The players also say these actions led to serious addictions and other health problems after their careers were over. Crown Force Jeff Bush live for us tonight in Brentwood. And Jeff, you just talked to a former 49ers and Raiders player, Jeremy Newberry. He's one of the players that filed the class action shoot. What did he have to say, Jeff? Well, Grant, Jeremy played for several different teams during his NFL career. He says that they were all the same and that drugs were administered freely in the locker room before the games. Jeremy Newberry says that one of the biggest examples of drug abuse during his career is when he was badly injured. His tendons and ligaments were barely in place on his leg and he couldn't walk without injections. Uh, I would hobble out in a walking boot and watch practice. I would hobble back in, you know, partway through practice and I'd get in the deep end of the pool and run in the deep end because I couldn't have any kind of uh, uh, weight on my foot because my the sin osmosis that holds your tibia and fibula together was actually just completely gone torn missing jeremy says he played a whole season that way he says it was only possible because he and other players were injected and administered several other drugs before the games they shoot me up you know in my leg they give me a shot of tordol they give me vicodin before the game they give me vicodin at halftime if it was running off in the second quarter or the fourth quarter they'd give me some more and i played a whole season that way Jeremy says that repeated injections of the anti-inflammatory drug Toradol caused severe damage to his kidneys and his blood pressure was at an unsafe level. Jeremy says there was a drug culture in the NFL when he was a player. Jeremy says the only thing any team cared about is money. Oh, they want their best player on the field. I mean, it's all about the wins, and the you know, more wins equal more dollars for that franchise. So it's about get the best product on the field, get your best players on the field, and let's make all the money we can. And Newberry says that the team doctors didn't care. He says that the team trainers didn't care. He says that the team's coaches didn't care about anything but winning football games. I'm Jeff Bush reporting live in Brentwood, Cron 4 News. And today, the NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell, was asked if he had a comment on the lawsuit. I don't, uh, Barry, I um, was only made aware of it just briefly, but uh, I don't believe any of our attorneys have had an opportunity to look at it. And as you know, I've been in meetings all day. We reached out to the 49ers organization on this issue, but have not heard back.